morning. Let me let me just finish up making uh, breakfast over here. Making myself a turkey bacon and uh, an omelet, and then I'll get uh, get the video started. Okay, I'm gonna finish up over here, eat, and then go out to uh, put some parts, actually to put the mid controls on the Sportster. So let's hit the intro and then start with the video. Just before we even start, uh, it's it's. I always talk about how it's uh, because uh, always talk about how it, uh, fall is starting and the foliage. Look at the color. Look at the colors of this tree. Amazing. Look at that. And it's just before it loses its leaves. Maybe you can see some of the leaves over here flying in the, uh, like falling down. Oh, look at that tree. You see the leaves? Anyway, I'm just recovering from this beautiful, amazing weekend that I had of the road trip down to Georgia. Getting back from a Georgia, great, great trip. Had a great time, so I'm recovering. Went out for a walk with Pico. Really cool, cool, cool scenery. People here today, this morning, I just had to take, just had to take this video. It's really, really beautiful. 7 a.m., they moved the clock back, so it's 8 a.m., but it's really cold and brisk. Taking uh, Pico out for a little morning sniff. And the river over here is nice and quiet. Really pretty. Uh, early foliage. Leaves on the ground. On the trees are turning yellow, red, green all around. Really pretty. A beautiful day, a beautiful week. Have a great week, all of you out there. Love you all and thank you. Thank you for the support and for watching. So for this video, I'm going to have a few new gadgets that I always love to do. First of all, I'm, I'm uh, videotaping this uh, video on my new GoPro 10, which has been actually very nice. I had the 8 before, and this was the GoPro 10. And for this one, uh, this video, I'm going to be using something called an InstaGo uh, 2. I'll show you later what shots it uh, puts out. It's really nice. And Pico is going to be staying home. Uh, okay. I didn't buy this new. Actually, I bought it uh, secondhand on eBay. I was very lucky, but it's very difficult to find them. That's the magnetic pendant. I'll show you where uh, it fits. And that's the unit itself. I'll show you very soon. Anyway, let's take this out with us. And they, these are the mid controls that I was able to pick up uh, from uh, uh, Amazon. Actually, from eBay. I got it from somebody that uh, just bought the bike and uh, uninstalled it when he put forward control. So I got it for a little... Uh, a little discount there. So let's take it out and start working. Now you're gonna see the mess, the mess that I have in my garage. Okay, this is the this is the mess. Uh, the electric light is still first, but I just brought it in from uh, from uh, Georgia, and there's the sports too. Let's take it out. Today I'm gonna be. Uh, Uninstalled like uh, replacing these controls if anybody's interested with uh, this part, okay, this uh, brass Brass uh, foot uh, controls and this Let me know hit me down uh, Down in the comments or direct message me on Instagram. I'll go to my uh, my website www.holyshift.us and write me a message. We'll work something out the uh, yeah, just uh, let me know. I'm gonna put both bikes one near each other because it looks really cool, right? So yeah, we're gonna be relocating. We're gonna be relocating uh, these mid these forward controls right here to. Uh, mid position but, but these uh, actually have different this the difference I mean the distance between these two bolts distance is different than here and it's totally different uh, setup so I got like I've shown you let's go into the the box dig into the box I'll show you oh before I do that let me show you what I'm doing with this uh, new camera here let me just set it up okay see it has this uh, like little chain necklace 
pendant and it's magnetic around the neck, this part, and it goes inside, inside your shirt, okay? Right there, it's right here. Uh, then you take out the uh, camera itself. It comes in this uh, charging and control unit. Let me try to, like, kind of difficult to work with one hand. This thing comes out, look how small this is. There you go. Now it's out. It's a magnet. It's got a magnet on the other side. And it just goes over here. And that's it. Now this is actually the view, the view that you get to see. I just click on it and it's recording. You see? So you'll be able to see uh, what I'm doing through uh, this camera. So this is pretty cool actually. And that's the uh, recording. Uh, it's got a, lot, a little remote over here that talks to this, this camera through uh, Bluetooth. And it's also the charging, uh, charging case. It charges, uh, I don't know how many hours it can uh, charge up to, but this thing itself has an internal memory of 32 gigabyte. Anyway, let's, uh, let's start uh, working with, uh, anyway, let's start uh, unboxing my controls. This is just padding material that I got. More, more, more stuff. And these are the controls. How about that? Nice. Uh, it's got the connecting rod that will go to the, this is to the, uh, what do you call it? To the shifter. This is the gear lever. Uh, and I've got, of course, the other parts. One more. Got this. That is uh, the uh, gear, gear shifter, gear lever right here. And the other side, which is going to have the brake, brake assembly. Actually, that is the brake assembly. That here, that there is the brake assembly. And this one is the side of the gear, gear shifter. So let's, uh, let's disassemble the previous one and install this one. Obviously, I never know if it's metric or standard. Scam likely. Oh my God, ever since I got uh, the website, I've been getting 10 uh, spam calls a day. So I take the whole thing with me and uh, find what's the correct one. Okay. Nobody likes to get all dirty and messy. Okay. Let's find the right Allen uh, wrench for that. This is off. Now I got this. I don't remember what this guy is called. Maybe you guys can let me know down by the comments. Got it off over here with this little screwdriver. Where did I just drop it? And now this thing is out. And this, this guy just, this rod just comes out. I'm done with this side. Now we're gonna install the mid controls right here with the connecting rod for the brake. Let's do it. Now it's all about repositioning these to the new to the new place right here. Right here. Right there. So let's do that.
got this uh, upside down, but this is where it goes right here. And this is right there inside properly. Got the pin in, got the locking washer over here installed. Now gonna tighten it properly. Obviously these pegs are installed backwards, like whoever on eBay set them together should have been other way around folding up. Now I'll flip, flip these over, flip these around so it folds up. There you go. Got it. This whole time you were getting the footage from this camera. So now it's in. Now it's functioning. Why is it a bit loose? Okay, I need to tighten this, this guy a little bit right here. There you go. Got this side working. It's a brake action right there. Now these two uh, holes that we just have, I'm gonna use these two decorative uh, bolts that were there, that were actually right here before. Now let's go for the other side. Let's do the other side. more tricky because I need to lay down to get under it. Anyway, you get the point. Take these two bolts out. I'll, I'll uh, turn on the computer, uh, I'll turn on the camera again when I'm... Now get uh, the shifting, alarm, uh, shifting arm off. This Allen screw over here, and this Allen bolt over here. And this, the whole thing comes off. Once the bolt is out, these cheeks, these are uh, kind of too tight, so you need to spread them a little bit with a screwdriver. Literally putting a screwdriver, tapping it in with a, with a hammer to spread, spread that and pull it out. A little bit wiggling and it's out. A lot of patience. Ta-da! It's out. Now let's install the new uh, controls. That's the shift uh, lever. Let's do that uh, after I reposition uh, the peg so I know exactly how to situate it. So let's start with these guys. Forking it all the way. Yeah. That we got it tightened down according to spec. These controls, uh, the pegs are on the right position. Now we go for the uh, the shifter. This is something you want to try when you're sitting on the bike to see if it's uh, too high or too low for you and uh, play around with it accordingly. Okay, this is way too high, way too high. 
Moved it down a little bit. Now let's secure this. You guys don't see, but there's a uh, blue Loctite right there. You can't really see it from here, but there is. Actually, I'm just kidding. The truth is there's no need for blue Loctite over here because it's uh, the bolt is facing up. So what are the chances for it to uh, unscrew and travel up? Very, very small chances. So that's set. Tightened. Now let's put these two bolts back, the smaller ones back in the forward control area. That's it guys, we are done. Let me show you a little walk around what it looks like after. I will have all, uh, actually what I bought these uh, mid controls on eBay, so there's no link for it. If you do like this, uh, uh, you know, camera, you can find a link down by the description if you find it useful. All the beautiful shots that you've seen came from this camera. I'm Sandy, oh wait a minute, let's do a walk around. So guys, if you think you can find use and you're interested in these forward controls, let me know. Eventually you'll be getting also these uh, brass grips and this uh, fuel cap. So this is what it looks like after the relocation of uh, the foot controls from front to rear or mid controls. The ultimate in my uh, eyes would be to relocate it all the way to the rear. So that is that can only be custom made. So a few hours after uh, completing that video and before editing, I just realized that this video can, can be applied also to changing uh, mid controls to forward controls. Just uh, look at my, uh, start my video and play it uh, in reverse, play it backwards. I'm just kidding. It's the same thing, uh, moving them from the front to the back, back to the front, same thing. Remove what it, where it is right now and install on the new place. All con uh, controls come with the proper uh, length of uh, rod that goes into the brake and also uh, any attachment to the uh, shift uh, to the gear uh, control arm. So that's it guys. So that's it for now guys, I hope, uh, so that's it for now guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Till the next uh, video guys, I'm Sandy and you're watching Holy Shift. Peace out. Right.